Hello everyone, and welcome to another Live from the Workshop. Now, uh, what you may have already seen when I did my Eternity Circle uh, Dalek custom is that I said it was going to be one of, the, one of the last things I filmed. Turns out I was wrong. This is going to be the last thing I filmed. And I've just realised... <laughs> I was really hoping that this wouldn't happen on camera, but it has. And so I will bring the train to a halt. Now, uh, unfortunately, I'm having a bit of problems with the couplings on uh, this, but I wanted to give you all an update on my micro layout. So obviously, as you can see, it is now running. Um, it is a little bit temperamental because uh, I need to clean the rails. They're a little bit dirty. And at the back, there is, uh, which you can't see, there is a problem with some of the connectors. Um, and that keeps happening. <laughs> as I said, this is where the rails are a little bit dirty. And there's a problem with some of the rail joints, which I still need to rectify. Um, but uh, sometimes, what it sometimes means, unfortunately, is that things come uncoupled or the train just uh, decides to stop of its own accord. But generally, as you can see, it is working and it is working uh, very well. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, updated, been updated quite a bit since you last saw it. Obviously, uh, the main uh, updated it is the fact that all the tracks there and it's all running and working I'm very pleased with it the one thing I still want to add on are some trees in the background here and I'm toying with the idea of adding in some uh, details on the background and then I also want to try and add in a few people um, I am hoping I can take this to Sweden with me to finish because my partner's uncle is uh, a um, train fan himself I'm sure he'd like to see this so it would be great if I could ship this and again you know because it's fairly small um, it should be nice and easy to to ship with me and you know it makes a nice you know it makes a nice tabletop display piece as well to have I mean you know just to uh, I'm trying to think of what I've got unfortunately <laughs> I've packed most things away now so unfortunately I don't have anything that I can there we go that I have to hand to give you an idea of scale um, do I have anything? Unfortunately, I don't think... Oh, hang on. No, Ooh. one thing I do have to hand, actually, is a wooden Cyberman. Uh, this is obviously uh, three and three quarter... This is obviously my three and three quarter inch, ver uh, inch version. So that gives you an idea of the sort of scale, the size of, uh, you know, the size of the... Um, the size of the train. I'm sure some people are going to find this funny that Cyberman... Giant Cyberman attacking a village. But, uh, you know, I want to... <laughs> To give you an idea of the scale size of it, um, for those people that aren't particularly familiar with uh, train scales and sizes and things like that, I do have another engine as well, which is a nice little steam engine, but unfortunately this one is incredibly temperamental. Um, there is a problem with the motor on this, which I need to fix, which, <laughs> which I'm hoping I can solve, because this one literally just does not want to run. <laughs> um, the wheels turn ever so slightly, but it's just, there we go, see, it's it's trying, there's something wrong with it. Anyway, something else to fix, that's ideally the engine I would like to have done on it, but um, yeah, you know, I just I just wanted to give you all an update of, of what I've done on this, um, because, partly because it is uh, something else, see, that happens unfortunately. Stop you there. So this is the problem where I've got with the uh, with the rail join is unfortunately it's not joined up there is I don't know how well you can see this on camera but there is a large gap there unfortunately which serves as an issue but anyway so yeah I wanted to give you all an update on this because uh, it is something that I'm very pleased with how it's turning out and how it's coming together and as I said it's also something that's just it means I've got something extra I can record uh, for live from the workshop because I'm having to pre-record things at the moment because the chances are that I won't have the opportunity to record uh, any more out in Sweden immediately. Come on. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I was reviewing my life in the workshops and I realised I'd only done one video of this, so I thought I'd do another. As it is, it is coming on. They have progressed. For God's sake, let's see if I can bring it back. Come on. There we go. No. The cup. It's not coupling right. That's what it is. It's, I think the spring's gone in the. And now the train's up. It's the spring. The spring's gone in the coupling, and so when it's 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 supposed to join like that, but instead it's joining like that because this one is over here, and then that one's coming on. So it's basically just doing that when it tries to when it tries to do it. Um, yeah, it's not without its flaws, but that's the beauty of a model railway. Really, is that you can go back, and there's always things to fix, and there's always things to change, and always things to do. 
So, um, yeah, there's not really much more to say about this at the moment because there's not really a lot more that I can do. So as I bring the train into a slow halt at the station, uh, the only other thing I want to do as well is to add on a level crossing here. I've still got that to do. Um, and as I said, add in the trees at the back and then just some of the smaller details. But it is coming on very well and I am very pleased with it. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, favourite, subscribe, share. It really helps me out a lot. I salute you all, and I will see you with another video very soon.